everybody. Welcome back to Raleigh, North Carolina. Flair country to some. It's EA Sports coverage of the Canes. Really looking forward to this one tonight. The Hurricanes win the opening face-off, and we are underway with this one. Let's get the call. Running the interference plays is part of the game, but you can't impede the forward progress of your opponent. That's a two minutes interference call. Ajo's an important piece to this power play unit, guys. He's got that zone ability, and it can really be the key to get things going here and give them the advantage. Ajo's won the draw, they'll look to set up. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. And the play is whistled dead. Here's the call. The abs are being called for tripping. The Hurricanes with a five on three, and they've got loads of time to work with here. Five on three, you know your opponent has big bodies with long sticks in the middle of the ice. You have to find a way to move them. How do you do that? You either shoot the puck or you move it. Take it along the wall by Taves. <laughs> Tries to the crease. Overnight on the play. Wow. Oh, a true competitor save. Just when you think that he's completely out of it, James, he comes across with a desperation save to keep his team alive. As we look at that last save again, James, it is absolutely incredible and so impressive to see a goaltender just out-battle and out-will his opponent to find the puck. Scoops up the puck behind the net. Redirect the shot! Scores! Well, put in the special and special teams, it's a power play tally! Well, it's all about specialty teams and it often makes a difference and right now there was pass execution and they found a way to attack the net. He does a great job of maneuvering his body to get available in tight to the goaltender. Anytime you're in the net front, you want to find a way to get your stick on a puck. This one-timer that he's able to get off beats the goaltender clean. Carolina's come to play. Look at that. A quick goal here just minutes in. Well, it's all about getting the start that you want, James. And that doesn't always mean a goal. It means being heavy in on the forecheck, establishing pressure, capitalizing on their opportunity. That's a bonus, and they do it early in the frame. Return pass. The Avs gain the zone. Jostled off the puck. On the left. Look at this. Oh, yes. Don't deny that rush. And the power play unit comes up empty on that one. Well, everyone is up. The coach knows exactly what the PK unit had to do. And they got out there. They were responsible. And they took care of business. The Hurricanes have taken advantage of their opportunities here in the early going. Ajo's won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. Let's it fly. Quick stop by Georgiev. Quick feed to Jarvis. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. The Avs will play from the defensive zone. Puck clears the zone, and they'll be forced to regroup. Gets the puck over to Manson. The Avs take it across the line. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. The Hurricanes have it from their own end. Passes on over to Jarvis. Makes a move in front. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. Well, when you're looking for a goal, being shorthanded is not ideal. You're also killing valuable time where you can be pressing when you're PK. Well, I really like them working off the 1-3-1 sequence that they were successful on earlier, James. It really opens up the ice. You're using and stretching the entire zone. And listen, there's a lot of ice for the defense to cover. So you can look to the flanks, you can look to the bumper, but a lot of options off of it. Now a quick pass to Cogliano. Jarvis is showing his never-say-die attitude, and it's a reason why he's a leader on this team, and everyone looks to him by example. Why that example is in front of the net with a stick on the puck, falling to the ice, last-ditch effort and attempt to get a scoring chance, and he does. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. 
to his team. They score! And just like that, we are tied. Well, great defense leads to offense. At least that's what I'm going to say as a former defender, James, who was only on the PK. They attack the puck, and they get an opportunity, and they get the shorty. James, I'm so impressed with the aggressive nature of this PK unit. I mean, you're down by a goal, you want to press, you attack appropriately, and then you get a shorty. That's a great job by the PK. Another face-off looming here on this power play. Puck is dropped and play resumes. Skates to the crease! Oh, how did he get a piece of that? Oh, and he tracks it! Stretching your body, finding a way to make yourself as big as possible to get to the save. That's what he did, and that's why the save was made. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. It's all tied up. Colton's won it off the faceoff. Here's a short pass to Jones. O'Connor's got it into offensive territory. Here's the pass. Great defensive play to pick off the pass. Here we go, on man rush. Point blank stop by Georgiev. This shot's come from the middle of the ice, and he has some heat on it, but he's ready and waiting for it. He's to position, and he makes the save. Along the right wall, and into the offensive end. Right away, can't get that one to go. That's a James, and he knows that he's not going to have much time or space to get it off, so he elects to use the snapshot and beats the goaltender. Carolina's gone up by one in the back half of period number one, and they're really starting to assert themselves now here, Cheryl. You said it. They've been assertive, and they've been dominant in terms of shot share here, James. When they see an opening, they are taking it, and their opponent really doesn't know what to do. By Georgiev. You have to be quick in your crease if you want to be able to deny low zone shots. He does that perfectly as he's tight to the shooter right there. Carolina's on the attack. Here's a shot. Here's a shot. Oh, what a save. He blocked that one. We got a stoppage in play. Almost anarchy in front of that net. Well, there certainly is. It was chaotic. And the ozone possession time is certainly up. They needed this. That's a great play by the tender. Olofsson's won the faceoff. And now he moves it quickly to Kiranta. Monster save by Georgiev. The goaltender is very aware of where that puck is in that low slot area and defends his crease by getting out, being aggressive, and taking away any of the net. Carolina's got the puck along the wall. With the stop. And a smart heads-up read to come up with the puck. a shot. They've got an on that rush. Sends it across. Oh, it's stayed out. Oh, my goodness, what a stop. Well, there's the horn ending period number one, but this one is far from over. Lots more action to go. Second period is just around the corner. Listen, you have to play aggressive, you have to attack if you want to win the game. 
And he turns that one aside. That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but his team has to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Those high danger scoring chances eventually go in. Sends one over. Beautiful read in the defensive end by Ajo. Carolina's working hard in all areas of the ice. Defense is structure, and it needs to happen in all three zones. When you're talking about stick positioning, you're doing a great job of taking away passes. And the puck clears the zone. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. And now he tries to get it across one-on-one -on -one with the goaltender! Oh, denies him on the play! Uh, and this is a great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. Shot! Big time stop! Chase in front! And that's stopped! Carolina's got the puck here in the open ice. Moves it to the middle! Just couldn't properly connect with that shot. Moves it to the middle. And that goes off a body in a ride. Sends one up to stall. Sends it in front. And that's intercepted. Georgiev's opted to hang on to the puck for a faceoff. Carolina's coaches were preaching lots of shots on net, and they have done it and lead as a result here in the second. Johansson's won it in their own end. Carolina's got possession here in the offensive zone. Cuts into the paint! Scores! The captain comes through! Shot off the most coveted area on the ice, right in front of the paint. Doesn't allow the boy to get set up and puts it home. The Hurricanes have extended their lead to two here in the second. And I mean, at this rate, they're probably due for more, Cheryl. They've been dancing out there, James, and they've been manipulating their opponent all over the ice, and they've had a handle on the possession. And they've been getting a lot of opportunities, and it's a reason why they're up by a few goals. They score! And what a counterpunch they serve up! Well, you said it, counterpunch. You know the coach is going to love this, this quick, timely response. When you look down your bench, you got to know that there's personnel that can go out there and provide some energy for your team. They just did it. I love the way they were able to execute on this odd man rush. James really used the ice to their advantage, manipulating their opponent, the ice that they did have, and then they were able to capitalize when the shot came their way. The Avalanche have put themselves right back into this one after that goal. Well, good teams have a way of burying the bad play and looking ahead, and they've done just that, getting themselves back in this game. Colorado's ready to go on the attack. Georgiev's last save is one that's going to be remembered for a while, James. It's going to be on the highlight reel. It's on one of mine now. I mean, he's two on one. Here we go. Slides it across. Textbook defensive effort to end that rush. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Great hits up play with the stick by Drury. Good hit on the play. The Avs gain control of the puck. Colorado's got control of it now from their own end. The Hurricanes take possession here in the open ice. There's the whistle. Let's get the call for the officials. Whoever has a role in this PK unit knows that they not only have to kill this penalty off and keep the game within reach, but maybe they can be opportunistic and pounce on a loose puck for an opportunity. The Hurricanes once again send out their power play unit. Having success earlier on the power play, they recognize where the openings have been. But what I love about it is they're not afraid to change it up. The motion on this power play and these sequences have really been the reason they've been successful. From a close! so good in this league, James, that they see the shot, they are going to stop it. And so you got to get traffic in front of the net on this power play. They do an excellent job of getting bodies in front of the paint. The Hurricanes 
Kings are nearing the intermission with a two-goal lead here, Cheryl. I like the position they're in. Yeah, they're in a great position, but they'll want to maintain this energy right through the period. You can see the coaching staff just tapping the backs, making sure they keep everyone focused because this is also where your opponent gets very urgent. Some solid defensive work on their own end with the poke check. Colorado's got the puck along the wall. Quick pass across to Drouin. To the low slot! Oh, he got all of that! What a save by Kuchetov! Picked up along the boards by Aho. Quick pass to Jarvis. Redirected in front. Big save just as time runs out. And there's the horn. Two down, one more to go. Both teams will get a chance to uh, catch their breath and get ready for a big third period next. line and this one for regulation time. Cheryl, how do you view it? The Avs, Coach won't be happy with their performance tonight in the effort areas and the habits. I mean, they really haven't been hard on the puck. They haven't been strong or physical. And as a result, their opponent has taken it to them because they've had the puck the entire game. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by McCarr. Picked up along the wall by Nachuskin. Here's a pass in front! Couldn't complete that. And the puck departs the zone. And it's a quick pass to McKinnon. And he slides it quickly to Nichuskin. And that's just out of reach. Grabbed along the board by Burns. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. That's a smart heads up defensive play by Manson. Takes it to the front. Tucked away by the goaltender. Sometimes if you hold on a little bit too long, you're going to get the interference call. Colorado set in their power play unit out for the first time tonight. First power play opportunity for this team. It's going to start in the face-off circle, getting possession with the win, and then looking to set up. Nice zone entry from the right side. Good hit to pump him off the puck. And that's blocked from someone in front. The Avs will play it in their own end. Moves it quickly over to Johansson. Great close save by Kuchetkov. He'll keep it alive and moves it ahead. Moves the puck to Pesci. And he takes the pass. Steps across the blue line. Takes the feed. Ajo's up and ready to get back on the ice. Carolina's killed the penalty. James, I remember protecting a lead at the Olympic Winter Games and having to find a way to, to get that puck out and how critical it was to have good habits, be strong on the puck, and play physical. This group did a great job. Tries to get it. They got a two-on-one. A pass. Scores! Tremendous back and forth passing and a perfect finish. The ass style up exactly what they needed. A goal here in the third. A lot of pushback right now at the latter half of the third period. And you know that the coach is going to make some adjustments. You want to have the opportunity to get your star gifted, creative, offensive players out there when you need to get an equalizer. Slides it to Kibaranta. Slides the puck across to Olsson. Centering pass. Oh, and he whiffs on it. Puck grabbed by Kibaranta. And tries to make a diagonal pass to all along. those golden opportunities. Carolina's offense, the story tonight as they lead it here in this. Third 
period. The Avs take possession off the faceoff. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Poked away by Rantanen. Scooped up along the wall by Jones. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Now he takes it over the line. Shot! And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Inside of the last minute here in this third. Carolina's got the puck in their own end. They go on the attack from the left side. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. Short-handed down a goal here late in the third. They gotta look to be opportunistic. They gotta bring out the power kill and look to jump on pucks. Opportunity on this power play. The Avs win the draw on their own end. The Hurricanes have it now. Can't keep a hold of it. Carolina's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Works it across to McCarr. Quick shot. Sensational stop by Kachetov. And we are all over with this one. Well, this thing started with a whole lot of bangs, and then it kind of just turned into a chess match. Yeah, it really dried up in terms of the offense the last 40 minutes, and both teams just really shutting down in the neutral zone, not allowing a lot to go north and protecting the middle of the ice. Kind of dry game, my kind of style. I'm James Cebalski. She's Cheryl Pounder. We will see you next time at the ring.